Here is a video for And I Love Her by the Beatles. Now the motif at the beginning is um, based around what the whole song is, I should imagine, when they wrote the song. So I'll play the little piece for you, so it just does this. Phrased in this way. The chords that you would need under that, on the other side of the, the actual stereo field when you listen to it, would be uh, F sharp minor. And it's strummed in such a way that you just do up and down really. And then you go down to E. And then the vocals come in from F sharp minor. To C sharp minor. And again. Then it goes to A. And then B. And you can go up to the, the B with using your bar chord. Sometimes I think it would be down there. That is obviously a little bit harder because you need to stop that E string ringing. So we just tip your finger. Should stop that ringing, and you don't really want to play that. So. That obviously would re require a little bit of technique there. But so if you want to go to the bar chord, that's absolutely fine. That then repeats for verse two, but then underneath that you've got this little picky piece that you can do. Now, what you would do is you play from the 9th fret, 10th fret, and 11th fret. And you get this. So that's down, down, up, up. And then you bar right across the 9th fret, and you do the same thing. And then you would go to this chord again. And then you would do the A, which is like a D-shaped chord, which is an A, but you would just do this. And because the chord goes up to B, you just move that up two frets to B. Then you go back down to C sharp minor. Then there's a little bridge. You go from C sharp minor to G sharp minor. C sharp minor, G sharp minor. And then you go to B and then a B7. And then it does that little picky piece again. Now the next thing to do is the solo. Now the solo moves up a semitone. So when you're playing an F sharp minor, if you move up a semitone, you get to G minor. And this is where the solo comes in. So the G minor will be over G minor to D minor. G minor to D minor. And then we go from uh, B flat up to C. But that you can actually play a C7. And a C7 could be played like this. You just basically lift that little finger off. Now the solo is a G minor scale, so you would play this. transfer that note to the B string and then you do this and then C up to D and then the A so that's then you go to C and you can play an open A after that 
and then G F then F to G the little slide so I'll play through the whole solo solo. Now the little picky bit that you were doing, because we moved up a semitone, you move that up a semitone and you do the same thing. Now the chords that go under that little picky section are again as the guitar solo, G minor, D minor to D minor G minor to D minor to B flat to C7 to F and then you get this because that's obviously moved up a semitone as well as opposed to this and then you're playing the G minor and end on a D there you go and I love her by the Beatles